there, Johnny! What, what are you doing? No, 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 no! I hope this isn't about the audition, Johnny. Is it? Johnny, don't be so hard on yourself. You know they say you should consider yourself lucky if for every ten auditions, you get one callback. And for every ten callbacks, you book a job. Which means, you book one out of every 100 auditions. How many have you been on so far, Johnny? One. Johnny, you need to keep your chin up. There will be plenty more opportunities. You're going to need to get used to the rejections if you want to continue being an actor. What is it, Johnny? Did you get another audition? Well, there you go! And with now all the things you've learned, you should do just fine. Well, as they say in the biz, Johnny, break a leg. We'll be rooting for you. That Samuel Adams winter lager is delicious. <sighs> Hi, and welcome to Phil Fridays. Today's a very special event. We have a guest here with us. His name is Curtis Freisel. Hi, Curtis. Thanks for being here. Hello, Phil. Well, the reason we have Curtis on here is because for the past few weeks, he's been doing these Phil Fridays as Johnny Actor, as you may know him. But his real name is Curtis Freisel, and we are thrilled to have him here. Curtis. Yes. I must say, you've done a few commercials and I've seen them on TV. Tell us a little about the T-Mobile commercial you did that premiered during the American Idol finale last year. Yes, it did play during American Idol. Woo! 25 million people got to see me. Uh, basically, if you remember it, uh, it's two guys in a coffee shop, something talking, uh, talking about... The one guy's talking about he dates uh, Jennifer Love Hewitt. And the guy says, prove it. And so he calls up, and uh, it's me, uh, I play a pizza guy, and I say, stop calling me, basically. I yell, stop calling. Stop calling me! <laughs> oh, yes, I remember that. that yeah, was, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so, great. Yeah. Um, and then, I also believe you worked with one of my idols, which would be Michael Bay. Yeah, I did, a, I don't know if you saw it over the summer, it was a Burger King commercial for Transformers that Michael Bay happened to direct. I don't know, he signed, like, some deal with, uh, what was it, Paramount or whatever that did, uh... I don't I, know I believe that. it was Paramount. Okay, let's go with that. Yeah, 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 it's a direct, uh, you know, Mountain Dew commercial, Burger King commercial, uh, and a GM commercial. Okay. And I was in the Burger King one. Uh, if you remember it, Optimus Prime comes up to the, uh, drive-thru and tries to order a Whopper, and I am the drive-thru clerk. Alright, I, I hear... Rumor. I don't know if it's true. Michael Bay is kind of a douchebag. I I wouldn't say he's a douche. He knows how to get things done. He he doesn't stop. You know, like okay. he wants to go, and he's a very straightforward man. He's not a douche. He's very straightforward, which is good. I respect that. Like he will tell you if he doesn't like what you're doing. Great. You know, I remember one take. He said, uh, "Curtis, you're not being funny. Be funny." Okay, Michael Bay. Okay. I, I gotta ask you, people say that if there's anything else you can think about doing, Travis actually said this in one of his episodes, there's anything besides acting that you want to do, you should go do that instead of acting. What do you think? Well, uh, sorry Trav, I don't agree with you there. Really? That's like someone saying... Don't chase your dream. Don't go out. You want to be an actor? Ah, you schmuck. Why are you doing that? No, no, no. If you got a dream, I say go for it. Because even if it doesn't work out, which for a lot of actors it doesn't, even if it doesn't work out, you'll go home knowing that at least you tried. And that, that's the one thing that bothers me is I hate that feeling of, oh, I should have done that. You know? And I never did. And there's no, no chance to ever do it again. No, if you want to do it, go for it. Do it. Well, I totally respect that answer. Um, 
I somewhat agree with you, you know, it's, it's really one of those things that's either going to work out and you might as well go do it rather than sit around and say for the rest of your life, why didn't I go do it? Yeah. Uh, you might as well find out. All right, I got to ask you about one more project, which I know you're in. And I am pretty much couldn't be more looking forward to this because I watch this show all the time. Who doesn't watch Criminal Minds right now? It's a hit show. It's fantastic. And I hear that you may be in this. When is this? When can we watch it? Please tell me. I'm so excited. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I just did a little part on uh, Criminal Minds. Uh, I play a kidnapper slash rapist slash killer. Uh, so basically, uh, it's me and this other guy, Riley Smith. Great, great actor. Fine guy. Um, and, uh, yeah, me and him play these two guys that kidnap these girls and hold them hostage and rape them and do whatever we want, yeah. Uh, it's pretty fun. Check it out. Uh, it's on CBS. It'll be on December 19th. You'll get to see me get shot in the leg with a shotgun uh, and see me scream and cry like a little girl. So, uh, yeah, fun stuff. December 19th. I am fully looking forward to this. I can't wait to see it. Um, well, that's about all we have for tonight. Thank you for watching Phil Fridays on MuseCast. Thank you to our guest, Curtis Freisel. Thank you, Phil. Please make sure to watch Curtis on December 19th on CBS on Criminal Minds. It should be absolutely amazing. You'll get to see Johnny Actor at work. Check your local listings. You heard him. All right, thank you so much for tuning in this week for Phil Fridays. Uh, get excited for Merry Mondays, Travis Tuesdays. Eric Wednesdays, Keith Thursdays, and then I'll be back again for Phil Fridays. Thank you so much for joining in. Have a good night.